All right, folks, today is Tuesday, February 1st, 2022, and this is going to be part one of this uh, frame wrap video for the 60. Uh, I ordered this kit off a guy on Instagram. He goes by the name of Caddyshack Customs, based out of Las Vegas, and uh, seemed, seemed pretty good product. Um, it's a complete frame rack kit front to back top to bottom uh shipped obviously on this pallet fedex freight it took a little over a week to get here but it arrived it was well packaged i've already unwrapped it and right now i'm going to sort through it lay it out and see see exactly what i have uh he did say that it would be cleaned up on the edges and labeled and it appears so so that's good that's a good start um i went with eighth inch thick steel um i know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to frown on that but i don't care um mainly cost is one and on this car that i'm building i don't ever have a plan to uh that the tires are going to come off the ground there's going to be no hopping so really i just wanted a molded look with some added strength um the old 60 I had, it was had an original convertible frame, and I didn't even reinforce anything on it. I think we just did the rear arches, and I never had a problem. So I think the 8th inch thick is going to be plenty for what I'm trying to do with this car. Easier to work with, way, way easier to work with. But we did make the Porter Power. I'm going to show you guys in the next video. Um, so, like I said previously, I've got this hardtop frame. Came out of a 59 four-door. And this is what we're going to be wrapping. I had this thing sandblasted a couple weeks ago. And so we already mocked it up. It fits under the car just fine. Have to add one pair of body mounts um, around this area. Convertible body mounts. But yeah. Um, it's going to be a slow process. I'm thinking probably at least... I don't want to get ahead of myself, but probably two to three months... Um, worth of work on this frame so kind of at a standstill I know we're gonna we still got some work on the uh, sheet metal work on the floor pans of this thing mainly where the wheels meet the uh, I mean where the uh, wheel wells meet the new quarter in that area over there but uh, we gotta do a trunk drop down still so plenty of work ahead let me get this thing unloaded sorted out i'll bring you guys back once i get that all right i got everything unloaded and uh halfway sorted out so overall it looks to be pretty complete um i don't know how many pieces it is but um i think this kit is gonna call for cutting the body mounts off and replace and putting them back on i'm not sure that i want to do that uh, I don't know and get some different opinions on that But uh, I think it's gonna be really easy to work with So I'm looking forward to that um, Ain't really much else to show I did box up all the it came with body mounts They're in pieces you got to weld them together, but it came with all the body mounts and uh, Spring perch Piece together but overall, I mean, the, the cut the cuts are really clean. Everything is labeled. So, digging it so far. So, I think we're just going to let this stuff sit here for a couple days. It's supposed to be really cold the next two days. By really cold, I mean in the 20s. Uh, so, I'm not sure when we're actually going to get to this. But, I do know that on this frame here, this... Uh, may get cut off uh pan hard bar mount on the other side is going to get cut off shock shock towers are getting cut off i have to make something for the wishbone all the e-brake stuff is getting cut off that 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 on top of the tunnels getting cut off e-brake bracket there is getting cut off most likely Bump stop, brake line bracket. 
So I don't know. Like I say, it's been a really long time since I attempted to do this. But uh, with the pieces being cut already, it's, it's pretty much like a puzzle. Um, I did note on some of the pieces there might be a little trim to fit. Stuff's not just going to exactly fall in place, but I think, I think a lot of it will. I think these long pieces will. The X pieces, the long side pieces, they should fall. Uh, this back end is, is definitely just going to fall in place, I'm hoping, because it's pretty square. So, uh, that's going to do it for now. I guess I'll uh, bring you guys back. This is just the introduction of what's going to be going on here. I'm gonna, we're going to four-side wrap this thing and mold it out and paint it. I'm still deciding on what color. So, I guess I'll bring you guys back once we get some work in. Thanks for watching. Got going on, Bobby? Wrapping a, a 59 frame for your 60. Yeah. So we said you got to put 10 pieces on before you eat lunch. <laughs> what do you think about the kit? It's all right. It's easy to work with it the eight. And it's labeled. Most of the parts are labeled. Most of the parts. But you still got to do cutting and grinding and fitting. There's still some fitting, huh? And then just fall in place. Like this one right here, it says cut to fit. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not just putting it together like a puzzle, like people think. Yeah. You still got to do a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Takes a little bit of time. Yeah. But still got a lot of work to do. Yep. Well, we're now we're going to knock this out. We're going to focus on this for us today. Before anybody said anything, it's an eight. Just because <laughs> the way you want it to look. It's not going to be a hopper or any of that. So that's why it's not 316 or a quarter or a half inch or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. People will be surprised how many cars out there are hopping with eight inch frame. And we're not interested in doing anybody's frame. Nope. There's not a shot. Nope. Have no interest in doing this. For yeah. money. We got a lot of people in Houston that does frames. Shorties, Al, Fineland, Fineland Hydro, uh, Miguel, uh, that dude in Baytown, Tri City, Armando, uh, Mike Galaviz, a lot of people. Yep. I can do that for you. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Not me? Nope. All right. So, okay. spend a few hours on this now. I'll help you out. So I think, what, what, what's the goal for today? Get the X, get the top of the X? Probably this, this area right here. The, the inside, tops? The inside and around this, this. Okay, so I'll bring you back. Get your workout, Bobby? Yeah. A lot of fun work. Oh, yeah. Bunch. It's not just, like I said, it's not a puzzle. Mm hmm. All this extra stuff. I got it. Okay. Make it fit. It's going to be nice when it's done. Now, all the frames are the same, so. Yeah, this is a different type of center section than the ones you see that are a lot easier. That's all right. What'd you say, Bobby? Man, so we're moving right along, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, like I say, uh, we, I was debating on cutting the body mounts off, and we opted to not do that. So we're going around them. So the, the pieces that came with the frame wrap were designed to cut the body mounts off. So we basically had to cut those pieces. The X was a little tricky. We had to bend them a little bit. So, so far we've got the X top side, and we got one side on. And then the two transmission, inside of the transmission.
So overall, man, I, I think, uh, what do you think, Bobby? I, I kind of like the kit. It needs a little trimming, but I mean, he said that, so it's not like it was going to just fall in place. But I would say uh, it, it gets you to like second base, maybe. You think? I mean, I mean, how long do you think it would have taken to make the templates and cut with a plasma clean up? Yeah. For this section right here, probably eight hours. And so far, we've we're only uh, it's four o'clock right now. Started at nine. Yeah. Who are you? Yeah. You waiting for me to tell you? To yes. How many, How many hours? hours? Yes. <laughs> Eight hours? Eight hour day? So, I don't know, man. How long, how long you want to do it? You want to do this other side and then that's the stopping point? To do this other side, we're looking at probably another hour. To do the same. Yep. Like a kid. Yeah, let's knock this side out, man. One more side, then we'll that'll be stopping point. But so far, man, it's moving right along. Yep. So bring you back in about an hour. <laughs> I did a good job. Pat yourself on the back, Bobby. Eight hours. On the frame? Yeah. Eight hours today. More, really more like 12 because I helped you like half yeah I count two people hell yeah why not so next weekend what do you think the back back sides Is that in front of the in front of the transmission mount? This side? Right here? Yeah. That's that should be easy. Yeah. And then the last part we're gonna do is the air the part from the forward. Last. The kit come with everything to brace this. The top, the back, the sides, the front. Mm -hmm. Cut the lip off. Did a good job, Bobby. Got my two breakfast tacos worth. And Burger King. Oh, yeah, and Burger King, too. So I'll bring you guys back next weekend.